Greetings fellow humans. With Easter coming up and with the recent twin cake pops that I made, I've got eggs on the brain. Also babies, but that's a different story. So I wanted to make a realistic, oh, we got another dog. Hello, welcome. So with that in mind, I wanted an excuse to make a realistic, hopefully, bird nest with some eggs. So the idea is just to have a little bit of cake and then cover it with sort of chocolate to make it look like these little twigs. And then we're gonna make cake pops that look like Robin's eggs. I'm just gonna cut the edges off because they're a little crispy. I'm gonna keep this relatively the same. I'm gonna just scoop it out. I think that'll work okay. So once I've carved it a little bit, I'm gonna actually put some buttercream to fill it all in. like a bird I want to fly away I think that's it I don't know where my home is it's right here I don't know where my phone is it's right there I don't know I'm crazy so I covered this with buttercream but I don't think you need that step I think you can just go straight to covering with chocolate and then piping the chocolate Okay, so once I've done that layer of chocolate, I'm gonna let it sit in the fridge, let it harden so then I can actually do the piping, and then I will invert it back to the top side up, and then we'll do it again. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just gonna do a bunch of lines. So yeah, I feel like it would be easier with a grass tip, but these, this one's too big, and the one that I do have got destroyed by the garbage disposal. So we don't have many options here. Now I have chocolate that's a little bit lighter, to kind of mix in. I don't want it to be all the same color. I'm down one light, but I'm gonna keep going, dang it. So here we go. So I'm going to try actually piping a little bit of chocolate into this ice cold water bath and then trying to kind of get the shapes that I want to make it more organic and just stick it up there. have like a little guy that is still not quite hard so I can kind of place it on here and now I have another color a lighter color so I can get a little bit more of contrast and diversity in these sticks to make it look a little bit more realistic I think that little water drip, chocolate drip, adds a whole lot of like making it feel like there's actually sticks in there that are kind of poking out. So I'm gonna do a couple more, just a couple break, a couple bits, just throw them in there, just kind of, just bam. All right, so now we're just gonna make the eggs, and I have some leftover cake pop dough. So it's like the same deal. You're making them kind of into balls, but now they're egg shaped. <laughs> To me. Okay, to minimize the amount of penetration, we're gonna use wires. And that way we can pull them out without it being like a noticeable hole. Now we're going to dip them. No! Oh! Come back! Nope. He is lost. Take two. Hopefully. I won't leave it upside down as long. I can just smooth the little hole at the bottom. So I got my eggs and what I'm gonna do, sprinkle some of this chocolate brown color to give sort of the spotted look of these eggs. Before I place the eggs into the basket or into the nest, I am going to see if I can just put like a little bit of color powder. Yeah, it adds a little bit of dimension. It's like, it's not obvious, I think, on camera. These eggs don't look exactly what I have seen in the wild, but I think it can pass. What do we think? Does that look real enough? Maybe if we look far away? <laughs> I think it's pretty cute though. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Have you missed cake in? Bam 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 b